Hey you guys, what is going on and welcome to another video. Today we're actually going to be delving into the world of Android apps and we're going to be getting them here on the computer. So uh, this is for Windows, it's not for Mac. Um, I'm sure it might work for Mac, but I don't know for sure. We're only going to be doing Windows today. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on into it. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and over to your uh, browser, open it up, and you're going to type in blue stacks and hit enter. You're going to click on this first link right here. And as you can see, we're on the BlueStacks website. This is an emulator type, type of thing for your computer. So well, you can do all your Android apps, play Clash of Clans, and all that stuff. But we're going to go ahead and hit download BlueStacks. And let's see here. Once it's downloaded, it'll take a couple minutes max, just depending on your internet connection. I'll see you guys on the other end, though. All right, you guys. So we are just about done. we got three seconds left. And as soon as this thing is finished downloading, go ahead and click on it. It's going to open up the .exe file. Uh, actually, we're chilling at zero seconds here. Let's see. There we go. Go ahead and click it. We're going to open it. Go ahead and shrink this down. Look at my amazing background. I did not take that picture. Come on. Let's be real, guys. But uh, go ahead and hit run. It's going to pop up here in just a second with the installer. And we'll go ahead and I'll walk you guys through it. It's pretty simple, very straightforward fantastic program especially if you want to be able to stream live to twitch or anything like that if you want to be able to record videos like i do or you know just think around on the computer and have two separate accounts you know, but uh, it's for everybody so let's go ahead and extract it okay so welcome to bluestacks by clicking next you accept the terms agreement go ahead and click next uh, you can decide the destination you want it to install uh, i usually just do program data it's totally fine you can put it somewhere else but usually the default's good so it's going to ask you if uh, you want these enabled. It's going to be App Store access. Of course you want that. You want the access there so that way you can get new apps and everything. Uh, application communications, go ahead and say yes. Um, basically what that's going to do is allow the app to communicate with servers and stuff like that. So go ahead and hit install. And then, you know, you're going to give it a little bit of time. It's going to have four different steps where it has to install. It's going to take a little bit of time, usually about one to two minutes. I'll see you guys on the other end when it's about time for it to finish up. But uh, just let the program do its thing, and then you'll have full access here in just a couple seconds. All right, you guys, so we have completely finished, so we are good to go. Uh, make sure this box here is clicked, so that way you can start BlueStacks automatically and go ahead and hit finish. So this is going to automatically open up the program, and we'll go ahead and I'll walk you guys through some of it. Uh, learn how to uh, install apps and everything like that. So as you can see, we have BlueStacks TV. That's just so you can watch people on Twitch and stuff like that. I never use this. This is actually a new feature. So um, you can also have inter integration so you can automatically start streaming if you have a Twitch account. Uh, I do, but <laughs> I'm not doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and click out of that. And you, as you can see, the uh, native client still runs. So excuse me. So uh, what you have to do is go ahead and hit uh, got it. And I'll go ahead and walk this through. So this is the welcome screen. So you don't want to worry about that. Go up to the top left and you see the tabs and hit Android. Now you're instantly inside of the tablet feature that's going to be in the uh, and I, what that this you know client is. So um, I already have some apps installed from when I previously had it, but I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through how to uh, do it. So let's go ahead and click on uh, Seven Nights here, and this is going to open up our Google Play Store, and we're going to hit the back button in the top left, and now we're in Google Play. So as long as you have a Google Play account, you can do this. Uh, if you don't, just create it. It's totally free, and this is super easy. But uh, let's go ahead and hit games. Uh, let's get an app. What are we feeling here? Top of the charts. Let's let's get fancy here. Uh, Slither IO. Nah, let's not do that. I'm kind of feeling. You know what? Yeah, we're gonna get Slither IO. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. So all I did was hit those three little dots and hit install, and then you hit accept. And then in the upper left, you can see that the app is downloading. Here's your notifications and everything. So like for Vainglory, apparently there's a hero sale. I can swipe get rid of that and then uh, Slither.io was installed so I can go ahead and click that and there you go the app is fully running you have full ability to do this so uh, I can go ahead and hit prism and play online and there you go you can do everything just like that that is exactly how easy it is and there I am I am playing freaking Slither.io so uh, I hope this helped with you guys if you guys have any questions or anything whatsoever go ahead and uh, just leave a comment but uh, I'm just going to chill against, I guess, against these guys. But uh, if you guys wanted to quit the app, all you have to do is hit the back button in the upper left. It'll take you back to the previous page. Slither.io is still running, so I can go ahead and exit out of it. And then I'm still in the Play Store. So uh, if I ever need to uh, do anything for any reason, I can open up my Google Play account right here, go to like my wish list or anything like that. And, but uh, yeah, super easy, super, super easy. You guys saw it. Like, let's get Pokemon. Go ahead and install it. Uh, hit accept. 
Uh, go ahead and proceed. I mean, we're not using Wi-Fi. We're hardwired, so this will download really fast. Like, two minutes. One minute. Like, that's how fast it is because I'm hardwired. I'm on a computer. I'm not an actual tablet. But, uh, yeah, again, if you guys have any questions or anything or um, want any more how-to videos on, uh, you know, this particular program or anything in the future, just let me know. Uh, hopefully, this helps somebody out, and you guys can go ahead and start streaming your Clash Royale or anything like that. But uh, hope this helped out, and I'll see you guys next time.